Hi, I'm Sarah and you are watching Can Sarah DIY It? Hi. Hi, hello. I am <clears throat> super excited because I was sent some items from Hippie Crafter. If you have been watching my channel, you know that I am doing a hippie dippy um, room makeover for Charlotte. Yes, it is in the works, but I have about a million things in the works. So it's like, how do I got everything done? I do not understand the whole concept of multitasking. Um, but I digress. Let's get into this box opening. I am very excited about this product. I got three boxes. I think this is mold. This is a heat gun. And then I'm not, I'm guessing this is the resin. Maybe I'll start with this box because it's a little bit mysterious. It says epoxy kit and it says 16 ounces. So maybe like two eight ounce. I'm guessing it is two part epoxy. Ooh, la, 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 la. Resin hardening. Okay. Resin and hardener instructions. Yes. Yeah, so this is two part. Um, <laughs> lots of warnings. You always want to make sure that you read these types of instructions and like the safety guidelines. Make sure that you wear gloves, wear a respirator, work in, in, a, in like a well-ventilated area. These are the types of things that are going to keep you safe. And, you know, resin and epoxy is not like a dangerous product to use if you're following the safety protocols. Okay. Okay, so lots of like styrofoam peanuts. Yum, yum. Let's see. Ooh, okay. I mean, these are good size. Like resin is really expensive right now. So I'm guessing, okay, so these are um, the hardener and the resin. So you can see that here. Yes, it's one part each. Oh my goodness. And then, wait, let me see how long it takes. All right, so it says the epoxy will be dry to the touch in 12 hours and it will take approximately seven days to fully cure. So that is about standard. That's, that's, that's the norm. I'm just gonna see if there's any other little treats in here. No, nothing, are you sure? Yes. So we have our resin, we have our hardener, yay. Now, should we do molds or should we do the heat gun? Let's look at the heat gun. I think the molds are going to be the, the exciting part. Okay, I just want to show you my heat gun. So I've had this heat gun for a long time, but it is starting to putter out. So I was pretty excited when I heard they were going to send me a heat gun. I actually didn't know they were going to send me a heat gun, but when I opened the box, I was like, oh, I'll see a heat gun. What you do is you use the heat source to get the um, air bubbles out and get your surface really, really clear. Um, so this is the air or heat gun that they gave Ooh la la. Ooh, it's very sleek. I like this. It has a high and low setting. Yeah, this seems really nice. I'm going to have to use it. I will definitely use it in today's project. All right. Are we ready? Are we ready for the main event? Yeah. Oh! Okay. I want to see what molds. Okay, sweetie. Sweetie! <laughs> no, I can't. It's not really an exacto knife. I mean, it is. It's like a craft knife. Get over here. I'm so excited. Ooh la la. <gasps> okay, so I open the box and immediately I'm like, okay, this is not just one mold. Okay, we've got molds. We've got molds. There's a bunch in here. Okay, so this is the resin mold, six shapes. A wide variety includes round, rectangle, square, 
hexagon, organic, and more. By the way, I would have known what I was getting if I just read the outside of the box. Pro tip, read the box. But I will tell you, it's nice to be surprised. Okay, I'm just gonna open each one because I wanna play with each one and I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna make some stuff. Okay, so this is um, just a tray, like a trinket tray. I can tell there's like a lip here. So it definitely be someplace, something that you would either put like in your bathroom, next to your bed, someplace where you would put your jewelry or your rings. Um, I'm thinking that most of these are gonna be similar. Another trinket tray. So that was a square one. Okay, we've got a square. This is octagonal. Nope, hexagon. She's so smart. Why are you so smart, Sarah? I don't know. <laughs> okay, now this is the round one. I have some foil, like metallic foil, gold. It's I don't think it's like gold leaf, but gold leaf-esque. And um, I think I might put that, like put that in here and then put the resin and see, like, are we bougie or what? Yes, we are bougie. Um, okay, this is a big, big mama jamma. This is the largest of all. And this is like a very pretty, it's like a larger trinket tray. Um, ooh, it could be a candle base. <gasps> That's what it is. Ooh, I wonder if I did matching sets and sold it as like a two, two fur. Okay, now my head is going other places. Why did I just realize that? I, I apologize. <laughs> Do you ever have a day? I'm having a day. Like I am having a day. I'm having a day. <sighs> it's gonna be okay. Okay, these are shapes, <laughs> but they're like, okay, I guess like earrings, you could use them as keychains. This, I don't know if I'm going to use it. I'm going to use the other ones. All right, so guess what? Let's mix some epoxy resin and get into some crafts because I'm excited. I'm gonna switch the angle of the camera so you can see what I'm doing, get my gloves, get my respirator. And mm, I think we need some gold and silver um, leafing or whatever. And I also think we need some pigment powder to get started. Maybe some other accoutrement. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am very French today. I'm using a poxy on my channel. Oh, and if you like, please subscribe, <laughs> like, and comment. It helps my channel get noticed by YouTube. And then YouTube will be like, hey, everybody, check out Sarah. She's great. You guys will love her. But only if you like and subscribe. <laughs> Before I mixed my epoxy resin, I placed down some silver leafing. I will have a link in my description box for a better quality silver leafing that you can use for your silicone molds. But this is what I had and this is what I used. It was very flaky and was not adhering to my mold the way I would like it to. Um, the next thing I did after I got this adhered with my fingers, some tweezers and a brush, I then mixed up my two-part epoxy from Hippie Crafter and I used two different pigment powders, chestnut brown and white, uh, equal parts to make this really beautiful neutral color that I think could go in warm or cool toned households. I also think that these would just be beautiful for holiday decor, but really you could use them all year round.
Resin is going to have a lot of bubbles and the way to get rid of them is to use your heat gun. You want to go over the whole piece with your heat gun. It's going to release all of the little bubbles on top as you can see and the Hippie Crafter heat gun is a great tool. I'm really happy with it and I definitely would recommend it. So you can see that some of the silver leafing flaked off and was up at the, um, well, what is the bottom of the molds. And so I was a little bit nervous, but then look at this when I unmolded it. I was like, hello, this is gorgeous. I'm in love with this. I could not stop staring at this. I loved all the placement of the silver leafing. I was so happy that it showed through with the color of epoxy. I thought the contrast was amazing. And then each one that I unmolded, I was like, hello, I love you. <laughs> I'm obsessed. I was like, yes. And then of course I'm like, I wanna keep every single one of these, but I do need to sell them. They are so gorgeous. Um, and I'm just so glad that the silver leafing worked. This was my first time doing it. I do have some gold leafing, so I definitely want to try that. And I just can't get over each one that I opened. I was like in love, in love, in love. And um, yeah, so, so gorgeous. Look at how beautiful. Love it. I can't. I can't. So yeah, the molds are fantastic. Look at how crisp everything is. I did get a few little air pockets here and there on some of the edges, but I don't think that they're visible. I don't think um, you can see, I'm pointing them out here. I don't think that you can really notice them. Um, and I still think, you know, these are handmade pieces, so I'm not looking for perfection. But yeah, I just was so in love, especially with the big candle holder. The final step to make these really look finished and high-end is to put a cork backing on each piece. And to do that, I do first want to clean up each of these pieces. So I just take an X-Acto knife and I just trim off any sharp edges or any overpour. This is super inexpensive adhesive backed cork that I purchased at the Dollar Tree and with this piece I think I was able to do the backing on at least three of my pieces so it is very inexpensive but it does give that finished look and it is very firmly on the piece. The adhesive is very strong, like you cannot remove it once it's on and all you do is just peel the backing off, place it on your piece and stick it on. It's very, very simple, and it has a really nice, clean, finished look when you're done. After I've placed my cork on, I always go around and trim any excess because I really just want it to be a super clean finish piece. I also ordered this stamp. It has the SJO, which is my initials, Sarah Jane Osepic, and I have that, and it is just my logo branding, and I put that on the back of each piece so that people know where they got it from, and I also think it's another way to make it look finished. so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I want to say a big thank you to Hippie Crafts for sending me this awesome product. I've absolutely enjoyed using it. I will have a link in my description box so that you can find some wonderful products yourself. Um, have a wonderful week and make sure to try something new. Goodbye.